Mom talk. Teething. Dude, what is with teething? Everything I've read online is bullshit. None of it ever applies. Nobody has the same story. It's like teething is a mystery and we all just blame it all on teething. Are you teething? I think she's teething right now. I mean, okay, so for her bottom teeth, right now Luna only has two teeth. Right, chicken? Wanna show them one? Show them? Hi, adios, yeah, bye guys. So she only has two teeth. And to get those two teeth, it was two full months. So what would happen is she'd be like fussy and annoying and crying and wanting the boob more for like a day or two, and then it would go away. And then that went on for months, and then boom, one day two tooth appeared, no fever, no anything. Now she's 10 months, and I'm pretty sure she's getting her two top teeth. Now she's snotty every day, but with no symptoms. She's doing that same kind of, you know, fussy kind of not wanting the boob more, whatever, but no teeth have appeared. It's been going on for a couple of weeks. It's like every day, am I gonna get demon baby? Or am I gonna get happy, sweet, fun baby? Huh? What are you today, demon baby? I think she's actually cool baby today. And her sleep patterns are off and like, I don't, I mean, is it gonna be two more months of this and then boom, two teeth are gonna appear or what? Also, she has this necklace here. It's an amber necklace. This one I had made for her. I had one before for her which was a purchase when I got in Canada, but I heard that the Baltic Amber, which is the Canadian stuff, is only like 7,000 years old, and the stuff in Chiapas where we used to live is 25,000 years old, and so there's way more healing properties. And I thought, come on, when in Rome, like we lived there, might as well get it for her, right? So I had one made there, and to be honest, I don't know how the voodoo works, but once I put that necklace on her, the drooling stops. So I don't have as many markers of when she's teething since she has that necklace. I would love to hear your teething stories. Like, what are your signs? I hear about fever. I hear about getting the runs. She's had those before. She's had those before, but no teeth came. Uh, everyone called it teething. But as far as I can tell, people just blame all symptoms on teething. When does the teething end? began at two months for me like she was teething at two months but she didn't get her first teeth till she was almost six months now she's 10 months and she's been teething for three weeks and there ain't no teeth coming so you know how long does this last please leave your stories below teething is a big i looked up the symptoms of teething it's like runny nose fever watery poops you know, pain in the teeth, chewing on things, drooling, obvious. I've bought a whole bunch of things for teething for her, like the things you put in the freezer, but they're too cold. Like she doesn't want to chew ice or chew really cold things like that. Maybe if it was in the fridge or something. I mean, I don't know if it's because we live in a place where there's no winter, she's just not tough enough. But I almost feel like the teething industry, much like, uh, the, the fertility industry is just one giant mystery and they're just like throwing darts in the dark, you know? I, there's new symptoms all the time. I, I, re I really just feel like we blame it all on teething. It comes and goes. It ha nothing has, one, no one thing doesn't have anything to do with the other. You know, if you have like some things that worked really well for your kids when they were teething, please leave them below. And I would really love to hear what symptoms your kids exhibited while they were teething. Because, like I said, it's almost like a constant <laughs> changing list that catches all. In the meantime, we will just keep on drooling and snotting and pooping our way forward.